Well, praise the Lord. Good morning, Passion Church. Today is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what is going on in our world, God has everything under control. Obviously, we're in the middle of a very unique thing that I've never experienced before in my life. We are in the middle of a global pandemic, the coronavirus, and it is beginning to have an effect on normal life for all of us. Um, there have been states of emergency declared at every level of government in our own community of Buckeye. The schools have shut down, uh, and that is uh, really kind of a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, and as a result, Passion Church is shut down today, so we do not have our normal Sunday service. So I wanted to just share a little message this morning that I hope will be an encouragement to you. As of right now, we're taking things on a week-by-week -week basis. Our small groups will continue to meet every week, and we will keep our church family posted on Facebook of any updates uh, that come up. I want to share just a couple of things, though, out of, out of God's Word. I want to read Isaiah chapter 43, beginning with verse 1, says this. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob... He who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And there are th three things that I want to share with you today that are important for us to keep in mind. The first one is we are told, fear not. Do not be afraid. We see a lot of fear going on in our world right now. Um, try to buy a roll of toilet paper in, anywhere in town right now. It's a challenge. Uh, people have been stocking up, hoarding things. Um, it's just been crazy. Um, and there's good reason for this fear. This nasty little bug is highly contagious it is potentially deadly, and we all have to just be alert and aware to, uh, to these realities. As Christians, we are not called to live our lives in fear. We're called to live by faith. But faith has to be balanced with wisdom. And so that's the reason why we closed our services for today. We are going through to clean everything, sanitize all the nursery equipment, um, microphones, we want to make sure that when we reopen, we are providing a, a safe environment for our congregation to gather together to worship and to fellowship. Um, this is not a matter of being fearful. It's being responsible stewards of what God has called us to do in our community. Uh, the second thing I want to draw your attention to is that God has told us clearly we are his. In this passage in Isaiah, he uses these words, our creator, our redeemer, our savior. If you've put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you belong to God. You are his. No matter what we see in this world, no matter what goes on around us, um, the, the difficulties with the economy, uh, fears over jobs now as people are having to stay home, uh, this thing with this virus, no matter what, we belong to God. We are His. And because we are His, we have access to Him 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We can go to Him in prayer. We can take our fears, our worries, our concerns to Him. And we can trust that He will carry us through whatever we have to go through. God saw this coming. Nothing has taken Him by surprise. And He will be with us <coughs> Excuse me, every step of the way as we um, navigate these waters from this, this uh, uh, current crisis affecting our world. The last thing I want to bring to your attention from God's Word is the promise. He says two clear things here. I will be with you, and I will deliver you. I will be with you. No matter what, God is with us during this time. His Holy Spirit has not left us. If you belong to Christ, he will walk with you every step of the way through whatever circumstances come into your life. But then he's also promised he will deliver us.
He will bring us through. Jeremiah 29, 29, 11 says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. God has a purpose for us as a church. He has a purpose for our families. And he will carry us through everything. We will, again, navigate this, get through this, and come out stronger as a church, as followers of Christ, to make a positive impact in our community. Today is a national day of prayer um, by declaration of President Trump. Uh, the General Superintendent of the Assemblies of God has urged all Assemblies of God churches to join in prayer. And so I want to encourage our church family to pray. I want us to pray for a quick end to this pandemic. I want us to pray for the families that have been impacted by this sickness. I want us to pray for the health care workers who are on the front line trying to bring an end to it. Pray for our leaders, for wisdom, to, to manage the situation. And pray that Churches across this land and across the world will seize the opportunities God gives them to show his love, to impact people, to show his blessing, even in the midst of a difficult situation. And with that, I want us to close in prayer right now. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord God, that no matter what, you have our lives in your hands. Father, you saw this coming. Nothing has taken you by surprise. I pray, Father, for every family at Passion Church Assembly of God in Buckeye, Arizona, that you would keep us safe, that you would provide, that you would protect. We pray, Father God, for our leaders, that you would give them wisdom, Lord God, to govern this nation, to govern the state and the town. We pray, Father, for the health care workers, that you would protect them as they seek to minister healing to people. We ask, God, that you would bring this to a quick conclusion. And that you would bring us out the other side stronger. And we give you glory in the name of Jesus. Amen.